Melting chocolate in the microwave is really easy. You just do it in 30 to 15 second intervals, stirring between each time, and then you have some really lovely melted chocolate. But what if you don't have a microwave? All you really need is a saucepan, some chocolate, low heat, and some patience. You're going to have to stir this constantly to keep it from burning. Remember, chocolate melts at a very low temperature. It actually starts to melt before your own body temperature. So you do not want to heat this on high. You want to use the lowest setting available on your stovetop. And you're going to have to stir constantly. So get that handle and put it in a comfortable position because you want to hold on to it as you stir. At first it's going to be difficult to stir and move around like this. But keep moving it around so it doesn't scorch on the bottom. Once you get it to a point that it's melting more, it'll be easier to move around and it'll be very fluid. And you just want to keep pushing it around and scraping the bottom. I like to use a silicone spatula for this because it's very good at getting every little bit of chocolate moved. Once it gets to the point that it's about halfway melted, it goes really fast. If you're going to be tempering the chocolate, this is when you'll want to start using your thermometer. This step is absolutely not necessary, especially if all you're doing is kneading melted chocolate. So completely ignore this. I'm using semi-sweet, so I'm only going to 113 degrees, and I'll put up a melting chart right now so you can see what I'm talking about. And I hope that helped you learn how to melt chocolate on the stovetop. As always, happy baking.